Hey, what's going on guys? Um, or whoever's watching this. Um, this is really awkward and I don't want to do it, but I think it's probably beneficial because from all the videos that I've watched, it's kind of helped me a little bit to be more introspective and kind of think about what got me to the point that I'm at today where um, I'm 32 years old. I might not look it, the beard helps. Um, and I have no friends, like literally <laughs> zero friends. Um, I had friends and I do have friends that I'll talk to every once in a while, like on social media. I don't know if that really counts, but um, other than my wife, I literally have no friends. And it's kind of sad to say, almost pathetic. I don't want to say pathetic because, you know, a lot of people do fine without friends. Um, and I was thinking I was doing fine without friends for a long time, but I realized lately that it's kind of taking a toll on my mental health. Um, I don't even know where to begin, to be honest. So when I was younger, we'll just go through quickly. Um, we moved around a lot. Um, there wasn't that much security there. So, you know, I could never really establish that core group of friends that a lot of kids seem like they're able to. And that group of friends, you know, they grew up with through elementary school, middle school, high school. And then, you know, some of them remain friends, you know, to this day, I'm sure. Um, and, you know, I never had that until maybe like eighth grade, ninth grade. I met a few friends and I mean, we were friends at school. I don't wanna say we were super close like a lot of people seemed to be back then because we didn't hang out that much outside of school. Um, I, I don't really even remember doing anything outside of school with people until, you know, maybe later in high school. And even then, the friend group I had, they were nice and great and everything, but I still felt like I had major imposter syndrome no matter what. And I think that's just a case of um, always feeling like the outsider because they had all been friends for years, you know, and I came out of nowhere. So even though they're really accepting and, and seemed to like me and everything, you know, through the years, I still always felt like I shouldn't be there. I don't even know why. I don't know how to explain it. Even after high school, when I would hang out with people, um, you know, they would invite me to things. But even then, I don't know why. There was something in the back of my head that I was always thinking like it was almost out of pity or something. Um, I, I wish I could explain that more, but yeah, so I would hang out with them and we would have we would have fun, but I don't think we ever spoke about anything of substance really. It was more just like, you know, let's hang out, let's drink, let's watch fights or what you know, whatever we were doing at the time. And then as soon as I moved away and I went to college um, later in life, um, we kind of slowly got disconnected, you know, and I made a few more friends and that was mostly just friends at the gym. And the exact same scenario occurred, you know. Um, I made a few friends, we'd hang out outside of the gym or outside of classes. And I still, again, for whatever reason, the anxiety would creep in where I'd be like, why are they even hanging out with me? And no matter how much I'd try to push it off or tell myself, um, you know, maybe because they think I'm cool or something. I don't know how, how to explain that, but um, I would keep telling myself or basically self-sabotaging because I'd be like, well, they don't actually really want to hang out with me. They just feel bad for me or something. So I would push it off and I would say, I'm busy with school or, or whatever excuse I could make up really, I started making. And then eventually, you know, I moved away for work and kind of lost those friends as well again. Um,
I didn't think I would get this emotional talking talking about it, but um, I'm just going to push through. So I basically told myself for a while, you know, the most important thing was um, my career and doing well, especially because I had, you know, growing up, um, you know, around the poverty line. So I didn't want to get stuck in that same cycle as my family got stuck in. So I was thinking, you know what, I can just focus on myself. I'll focus on um, my girlfriend and fiance and now wife, and I'll be totally fine. Um, and I, I think I was fine for a while there, but at a certain point you need that connection with other people. You need somebody um, kind of to talk to about not just fun stuff, but also about how how you're feeling and your ambitions and your goals and pretty much all that kind of stuff. And, and I know that exists because I talk to people who have great friends and I just don't know how to build that connection with people. And I don't know what's wrong with me. Like I've heard people say that a lot of times on these videos, I've, I've watched a bunch of them, but it's a genuine question I have because there's got to be a reason why I can't make friends, whether it's maybe I'm too picky. I know it, it's like dating. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Um, and I've, I've tried like Bumble BFF and that kind of stuff. And I have, you know, matched with people and I just can't seem to get that connection regardless. I've um, almost hung out with a couple people and either I've backed out or they've backed out. And so... I mean, I'm gonna try whatever I can to make friends. I've started mountain biking recently and I live in Northwest Arkansas. So mountain biking is really big here and it seems to be a really strong community. So hopefully I can find a couple friends that way. Um, and you know, maybe I'll make an update video as awkward as this video was. And I'm sure it wasn't that entertaining to watch in the first place. Um, and it really doesn't matter if anybody watches this because I'm just trying to do this to to gain some insight into why I feel this way. Um, I mean, think about it. I basically cried just talking about losing friends that, you know, were kind of just peripheral friends in the first place. Um, so I think this will be really beneficial to me just to get it off my chest. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching if you made it this far. Um, if you want, put a comment below on kind of how you're feeling or if you've experienced anything similar to this and if I do make a video I'll try to have some talking points or something um, to make this video the next video have less rambles less ums because I say um way too much when I'm nervous uh, just like that and so yep see you guys thanks for watching uh...